Hi and welcome, I'm so happy you're here. Today I really wanted to talk about codependency. What is codependency and how does it play out in romantic relationships, in marriage and what are the things to look out for and how to change it. So codependency basically means that your happiness is tied to the other person's. That you give up yourself to be loved by someone else. That, that's really what codependency is. And sometimes it can have very controlling elements where people will want to control their partner, control situations, because they, their life is so tied up in somebody else's life. And often it can cross the boundary between caring for someone and caretaking. And it's knowing that difference. When you're caring for someone, you're loving someone, you're looking after someone, but you're not doing that at the sacrifice of your own needs and your own life. When you're caretaking, you've taken on that role where you are trying to mother them, do everything for them. And sometimes this isn't healthy in a romantic relationship. Sometimes we need to be caring we need to be loving, of course, but not at the sacrifice of our own needs, our own dreams, our own focus and direction in life. And sometimes when I work with couples where they've been so codependent, where they've done everything together, everything with each other, everything for each other, and then one person starts to get new interests, starts a new job, or just has a a wake up call where they feel like I want to change some things, I need my own space. This can be quite scary for the other person in a relationship. So how to move through codependency, how to change codependency, really the first step is awareness. Am I being codependent? Does my happiness depend on their happiness? Is my life completely revolved around them? rather than doing things for myself. Awareness is the first step. The second step is building and focusing on yourself. And I'm gonna be sharing more videos on how to focus on yourself, how to rediscover your purpose, your passion. So if you're interested in that, do subscribe to the show to check out those videos. So looking at what you can do for yourself to make yourself happy. Do you have interests? and activities outside of just the relationship activities. Do you have your own source of happiness? These are things to look at. And then there is codependency where somebody has an addiction, where somebody has a, an emotional issue. And sometimes you can become so wrapped up in trying to save a person in a relationship that again, you start to neglect your own needs. So how to balance those? And this is something that I talk through and help couples through or individuals through in a lot more detail. But the first step is that awareness, looking at things you can do for yourself. And then thirdly, looking at, are you displaying any signs of trying to control your partner, trying to mother them or father them, parent them basically, and have you crossed the boundary of being a relationship partner to being a caretaker? Those are the first few things to sort of recognize and to start taking action on changing your behavior if need be. If you'd like to talk more about this with me, then do visit my website, nicolavere.com. There's an option there where you can just book a free 15 minute, 20 minute call with me where we can discuss this in a bit more detail. I love to support people in this area. You can also get my seven secrets to saving your relationship and strengthening your relationship as well as some meditations. So nicolabeer.com, look forward to interacting with you there.